Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. And my apologies for being a little slow in getting up a video. It's been a very busy period of time uh, in terms of the work that I do. In addition, uh, it's the holidays and it's one thing or another is what it boils down to. So I trust I will be able to keep this on a more regular schedule to come. But I wanted to at least do a short one now to let you know I haven't forgotten you. Uh, I have quite a few messages coming in. Uh, and by email, asking questions about where they go, what to do, and so forth. Uh, people are headed down this way from the north as the winter weather takes its toll. Now, I can't really tell you where to go because that's really up to you, but I can make a few suggestions at least as to how you get started from what I have seen and heard from members uh, in recent months. One thing to keep in mind is that uh, Panama has become extraordinarily popular as a destination. It's also a major hub for all of Latin America. The result is that the traffic at the airport is just really much heavier than it's been in the past. Now the airport's been expanded, I guess, maybe three times since I was here first in 2004. Um, we are in the process of building a very, very nice and very large second terminal, which is going to make a big impact and, and really reduce a lot of the, tra uh, the pressure right at the moment. But that's not going to be ready until uh, 2018. So as a result, we just have to get through this period. It's often not a problem. It uh, won't be any different than you find anywhere else. But sometimes you can arrive when a lot of planes arrive because of this traffic. And as a result, you stand longer in lines in immigration or in picking up luggage. Uh, it's not ridiculous. It's not horrible. It's just very irritating to have to wait. And yet, that's the price we pay for being as popular as we are down here. Bear with us. Uh, it's just it's going to eventually get better. <laughs> Although the interesting part is, is no sooner do we get this uh, second terminal set up, then we have to worry about the next one. And so planning for the third terminal is has already begun. So it just gives you an idea of how much of a hub we really are and how we continue to attract large numbers of people like yourselves from all over the world. Uh, in any event, once you get in, keep in mind that we're going to be eventually having our second metro line up. Our first metro line has been a huge success here. The second one is under construction, about 30% done, and I am pleased to say it will include a, a station right at the airport between the old and new terminals so people can get off the plane if they want, they can get on the, the metro and go into town. Uh, it saves time, it can save you money because it's bound to be a lot cheaper than a cab and so forth. So there are many different things underway now that are going to make life a lot easier in the future. Don't let this slow you down now though, just keep it in mind that, uh, well, you're in a popular place. Another item, I occasionally get people who write me and they have outlined an itinerary for me every single day they're in Panama for two weeks. The different towns and cities they're going to visit, the places they plan to, plan to stay and everything else. I encourage people not to do that. I mean, well, you can, and if that's your style, that's your style. More power to you. However, it's so common here, and I've mentioned it many times in videos and things I've written, that people who come down for the first time often within 24 or 48 hours, they start changing their itinerary. Uh, you walk into a hotel and you finally get your stuff put away and whatever, you go down to the lobby, very likely going to be half a dozen, a dozen other expats like you who are here and uh, visiting as well. Some of them will have come back from visits to different places. Uh, they usually are chatty types and you can talk to them. You may hear about things you hadn't heard about before. Uh, you run into people pretty much everywhere. And if you're friendly, cheerful, smile, and uh, you can approach people who look to you as if they may be expats living here and inquire. And if they are, they're likely to be happy if they've got a moment to talk to you about what their experiences are and what they might look at if they were here for the first time. So uh, this happens. I don't have to suggest it to people. It just happens. And the result is, is 24, 40 hours, hours later, they are working hard trying to cancel all those reservations that they've made all over the country because they've changed their minds. So the fact of the matter is, is uh, it's better not to not to worry about that. Now, I do encourage you, if you've got the time and it fits in the budget, 
to spend at least two or three days here in Panama City. Now, some people come specifically to look at the city, and they're going to be here longer. But others come to look out in the countryside. I say, well, take, take a little time here. Because you're going to meet a lot of people and you get a lot of information while you're in the city. Plus, the city has a lot to see, and it's, it can be fun. Now, traffic is terrible here, but that's okay. We can, we can survive that. Plenty of taxi cabs. And if you're someone who uses Uber, for example, we have Uber here. We don't have Lyft, but we do have Uber. We have um, Cabify, if you're familiar with that. Uh, we have Two Chauffeur, which is a Latin American system, similar to the others. Uh, but it's also in English as well as Spanish. Uh, we have Easy Taxi, which the taxi drivers have put together. And there are a couple other services. So we have these services that are now available that people use frequently. In fact, I use them all the time. Simple as that. I don't own a car in Panama City. I, I have no interest in owning a car in Panama City. I'm happy to sit there and let somebody else worry about getting me from point A to point B. And they're usually much better at it than I ever would be. So that's one thing. A second possibility that I'm going to go ahead and mention it um, because most people never hear about it. But there is a double-decker tourist bus that runs here in the city. It follows a particular um, route. It goes over a wide area of the city. It's one good way to get introduced to the city. And it has stops at various locations. And it's called a hop-on, hop-off bus because you can get off anywhere. You can wander around for 20 minutes or an hour and a half or whatever you want. Then you come back to the stop. They'll have uh, regular pickups there. And the next bus that comes along, you, you hop on. You go on to the next thing you want to look at and so forth. Uh, it can be very, very useful to people, and it's sort of fun to be in a double-decker bus anyhow. And free, of course, but uh, the individual is $29 for 24 hours. And that means if you get on at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, you're good to go till 3 o'clock the next day. Uh, for an extra 10 bucks, you get uh, $39, you, you can do 48 hours. You can even go 72 hours if you want to. And they have a variety of other kinds of tours. Now, I'm going to put the link in below. So if people want to take a look at this service, they'll, they'll hear more about it, uh, or read more about it at least. And, and I'm not recommending it. I mean, there are lots of tours down here. You can find them on the internet and so on. But it'll give you uh, this bus tour, at least it'll tell you about it. And the other tours may give you something to compare against other tours that you're looking at, and so forth. And I want you to assure you that I don't know these people, <laughs> they don't know me. It's true of any links I put in. Uh, and if, if it's different, I'll let you know. But in this case, uh, I don't know them. And in any event, for all of them, whether I know them or not, I don't get paid. So they're not going to know that you came my recommendation anyhow. So I'm just putting it there because I think it's an interesting alternative and more people should know about it. Um, a second thing I'm going to put down is we have a number of English news websites of various kinds here in Panama now. There's very little when I arrive. Now they have quite a number of them. Uh, one of them is an article up, 21 Things You Ought to Do While You're in Panama City. Now, I'm not necessarily recommending that website for any other reason, but I thought the article was pretty good. And it mentioned a lot of things, again, that you may never have heard of uh, that might interest you. So while you're in town, uh, you can do things and see things that you, that you, might, you might find really fascinating. I think they do a decent job, so that web address will also go down in the description below this video if you want to visit that and take a look at it. Uh, if you want to find tours in Panama, though, it's Google will help. And TripAdvisor, Yahoo TripAdvisor, it does a pretty decent job, too, although sometimes it's just plain overwhelming with the amount of information it gives. But still, uh, giving it yourself some time in Panama City is not just a matter of seeing the canal in operation, which is pretty amazing. Uh, or any of a number of other things that are very interesting that we have to offer here. Uh, but it's also that opportunity, you're running into people, you're seeing people, you're relaxing, you're getting used to how things work, you're, you're beginning to discover that you're safe <laughs> and that you're going to have a good time and that people are friendly and so forth. Uh, you gather information. And that's what you're doing here. If it's your first time, you're gathering information. If you're here just to be a tourist, fine. But I think most of you are coming down looking at it a little differently than that. So by all means, take advantage of it, and there's no greater concentration of information than you'll find right here in the city. And that includes information about the countryside and the rural areas because people coming in constantly, and as I say, people at hotels, restaurants, and so forth, uh, who are 
looking also just like you and have visited different parts of the country and can share their ideas and attitudes. I think this is so much more valuable than any website talking to people. So if you're not shy, even if you are shy, don't be. Just <laughs> ask people and um, you know, be polite, and smile, and you can get an awful lot of information that way. So I, I do strongly encourage that you, you think in these terms. Um, we're, in, we're having good weather. I forget sometimes what it's like up north. <laughs> whether that's in uh, Germany or whether that's in Japan or whether that's the United States or somewhere else. Uh, we are definitely in, in great shape and we're doing just fine down here. It's a very, very busy country. There's a lot going on. There's always things going on here. I'm going to be talking more about that in another video, I'll probably the next one I do, because uh, I'm preparing a report from Panama that I share with people at the Retirement Wave site. Um, and I'm, I'll let you know about it too, so if you want it, you can get it as well. You don't have to join anything to get it. And I will probably take a portion of that and sort of summarize it in a video to be shown here about what's happening in Panama, what the, the near future looks like, and what's, what might be of interest to you, and I, I love to share it. And I think there's a considerable amount of stuff that's, that is interesting. I hope so. You make the decision on that. So for the moment, I want to thank you for your patience and waiting for this. I want you to feel perfectly comfortable in coming down to Panama if this is where you're headed. I want it to be successful for you. And I hope a couple of those suggestions today, patience at the airport, but also taking advantage of what's right here in Panama City can be very useful to you, I trust. Thank you once again for dropping by, and I look forward to talking to you again and much sooner rather than later.